Hi, I listen to BBC Radio 3 every day and I heard a conversation with the uh, interviewer, with the interviewee. If I mentioned her name, everybody would know her. She's a very uh, well-known personality and the, the comments she was making prompted me to make this video. She talked about her not believing that there is a God because you can't know that there is a God and that she's an atheist and that she did go to India one day to a, a Sikh temple and she felt she had a spiritual experience so I thought and then she mentioned that that who is she to think that what she believe is better than what these people believe so I thought I'm going to make this video to comment on her comments so if you're watching me you know yourself that I'm talking about you on the BBC Radio 3 program is called the essential classics and what I want to address you lady is that you said there is no God can you tell me how your body works intricately the blood flows your tendons muscles everything works and when you sleep you wake up in the morning because that's how you're programmed to wake up so tell me if you believe that you know human beings happens to be here by chance can you then answer me the question the following questions you know the Sistine Chapel or the Westminster Abbey do you think that they happen to appear by chance or do, would you tell me that an, an architect planned them, drew the plans for all these buildings? More so, the house that you live in, didn't somebody build it and planned it carefully to be the house you desired? So how can you have the temerity, the cheek, to tell, speak on national radio that there is no God, that we are all atheists and then you talk about having had that spiritual experience you believe that most people are agnostics and you're atheists. How dare you say that I'm not an atheist, I'm not agnostic, I believe in God the Creator. When you look at your body how the blood flows, everything flows there's no chance about it because you you people make yourselves so erudite but surely you know nothing if you stop to think carefully your ideas your beliefs you know that it makes no sense it's rubbish what you talk about we're atheists because there is no God you're not the first one to say this because the Bible tells us that in Psalm 53 and Psalm 14 the fool has said in his heart there is no God they're totally stupid when they talk like this because what you should be concerned about in your life not amassing more money more riches and fame but why you are here on this planet what is your purpose because I tell you lady because one day you're going to face the great judge of the universe how you lived your life are you going to tell him oh I didn't know sorry that you existed but in the book of Romans Paul tells us in chapter 1 that everything on this earth speaks volumes about a creator you chose to ignore that he exists so it's your fault but however the good news lady is that I've put you on my prayer list to pray for you that one day you will wake up and know that God does exist and you would 
order your life accordingly. So don't tell me that there is no God. And the thing that really gets up my nose is that today people are living as they please without any recourse to anything, any morals, nothing. What I mean by this is that the people who tell us that 1% um, of the population who chose to be different, we are gays, we are transgender, we are this and that. We have to accommodate these people. Oh, we are so upset because somebody uh, upset us. Get over it. If you're a snowflake, get over it. Just live your life. Don't rub it in our, our face because we don't have to accommodate you. Why do we need to tiptoe around these people? What about the rest of the people? These people are just 1% of the population in the world. Why do we need to accommodate them? Oh, someone upset me, I'm taking them to court. What about other people who are, their rights are being violated every day by big businesses, corporations, everything, councils. People are not up in arms and talking about it. But you people, you get on people's nerves. You get on my nerves with your whinging about life. Get over it, you snowflake, and move on and leave people alone. Let people live. The, the other thing I saw is that one of the banks in the high street, Lloyd's Bank, for example, I saw them with a logo that they are supporting LGTB people community. I mean, that to me is just a sale gimmick because they want more customers. Don't people know that in the banking system, everybody is a number. We're all numbers whether you're gay or straight or whatever, it makes no sense. So all these accommodating all these people, it just gets on my nerves. Just move on and leave people alone so that they can order their lives because we are absolutely fed up with your whinging. So this is what I want to bring to people that don't Go on about there's no God, you're answerable to yourself, you're not. Because you don't understand the spiritual world. This is not the only world because the spiritual world controls this one, believe it or not. Somebody is pulling your chains, okay? Someone's pulling your chains and you don't know it. Because it's spiritual, to be able to know this, you have to be spiritual. Not in the natural world, you will never know that somebody is telling you do this and do that. The thoughts in your head. Do you know where it comes from? You don't know. It just appears and you follow it as if it's your own ingenuity, your own thoughts. It is not. Is someone telling you how to think, how to dress, how to speak, what, how to feel, especially your feelings. They tamper with your feelings. Did you know that, lady? So if you know what is good for you, seek the Creator, your Maker, and, and make amends with Him. Repent for forgiveness because you will make account, you give an account to him one day. But the good news, as I said, I have put your name on my intercessory prayer list and I'm going to pray for you every day until my dying day for you to be saved, for God to reveal himself to you. So this is my video. If you think that you are in this category, think and repent because your life is not your own. When you die tomorrow is judgment for you and I, all of us. So be careful what you say. Repentance is what I'm asking you all. Repent in the name of Jesus. I'd just like to emphasize something. Uh, today we've been told that anybody can be 
gender fluid. That is that anyone can self-identify themselves as whatsoever they want to be. For example, any man can say tomorrow I'm a woman. So if that being the case, I would like to self-identify as a cat, a dog, a horse. How about that? Take a look on this image. This man who is a transgender so-called woman, he's calling himself Laurel, but he looks more like Hardy to me. Isn't that ridiculous? They're allowing him to compete with real women in weight lifting. So I think that's ridiculous because he's still a man, he's got a strength of a man, and it's okay for these people to say that they will change the outward to become women. But I tell you the truth is that their brain, their feelings, they're still men. They could never change this. No science can do this, change their feelings, their minds, their thoughts. They're still men, full stop. Why do we have proliferation of all these happening nowadays quite a lot? I tell you why, because it's a demonic agenda, it's devil's agenda to really mock what God has created. So this is why we have this in our face, mockery. So I have told you, whether you believe it or not, it's up to you. But it's the truth, it's a demon, devil agenda in this world. So people beware. Safeguard your children, their minds, what they listen to, what they watch. They're going to poison them. So thank you so much, all of you, for watching this video and bye for now.